Hey, how y'all doing? This is Gray from GrayTesh.com. Law is not black or white, it's gray. Today we're going to talk about depositions, how to give a deposition, some do's and don'ts. Okay, number one, tell the truth. So there's going to be a court reporter there typing down everything that's said word for word. So you want to tell the truth, you don't want to be subject to uh, the perjury. So always, always, always tell the truth. That's number one. Number two, be consistent. So anything that you say, you know, it's going to be typed up potentially and can be used against you later if you change your testimony. So it could be used in a, a trial later. So number two, you want to be consistent. Number three, answer to the best of your recollection. You may not remember everything and that's okay. Perfectly fine to say, I don't know. I don't remember. Next, if you don't hear the question properly or you don't understand it, let the examiner know. So sometimes people answer and they don't quite understand the question and you know they get a little confused. It's okay to be confused. Just let the examiner know. Next, think before you answer. Take a second, digest it, then you give your answer. Next, you want to review any documents before the deposition so it's fresh in your mind, but you also may want to review the documents during the deposition. If you don't really remember, just ask the examiner, do you mind if I take a look at that before you answer? So review the documents. If you're tired, you need a break, perfectly fine. This is not a marathon here where you can't, you're not stopping. Tell the examiner and you can take a break. So let them know. Next is probably one of the most important ones besides telling the truth. And that is answer only the question asked. This is the one rule I see violated more than most others. And that is you volunteer information. You keep talking. Uh, you're not okay with silence and you just run your mouth. I, I've seen that time and time again and you can lose cases that way too. So you never want to volunteer information. You answer only, only the question asked. Next, if your lawyer objects, for instance, uh, objection that's attorney-client privileged, you shut up. Don't say a word. Just wait till the lawyer instructs you whether you're gonna answer that or not answer that or certify the question. So when a lawyer objects, stop talking. Next, you want to be nice, be polite. Why is that? So the other side is sizing you up. How good of a witness is this person going to be at trial? Is the jury going to like them? So the nicer you are, the more polite you are, the more presentable you are, uh, you know, the stronger uh, witness you're going to be at, at trial. And that's a threat, if you will, to the other side. And along that same line, you want, you want to dress nice. So, no, you want to be nice and polite and all that, but you present yourself nice. I'm not saying you have to dress up in a three-piece suit, um, but you want to present yourself nice. So, lastly, you want to be confident and relax. So, the big ones are, though, tell the truth, answer only the question asked, be nice, be polite. Okay. Until next time, this is Gray from graytesh.com. Remember, law is not black or white, it's gray.